Hello my beautiful, beautiful people. How are you doing? Welcome to another Bedroom Guru with me, Nikki Allen. I found a noticeable spike in the last day or so and I think it's got something to do with my fantastic show that I had with George and Ori on Coast to Coast AM. Wow, I have had the most amazing response from you all. So welcome all you beautiful people from the US and Canada. I really hope this channel can bring you what you need. I really hope that I cover the subjects that you require and if not, please comment below and let me know what you'd like me to discuss, talk about or explain for you. Now, what's happened is, incredibly, I've had over 300 emails since yesterday from you wonderful people over in the US and Canada. And obviously, it's very overwhelming for me um, because it's just me on my own trying to deal with the book, trying to do with writing my magazines, trying to get book number two edited, um, and obviously trying to answer all of these emails. So please, please don't think I'm ignoring you if you haven't had a reply yet. I'm really working very, very hard to try and get through all your emails um, and answer them. Obviously, the biggest thing that you've asked is um, if I can do a reading for you. Now, as you most probably know from the show, and if you're watching my other videos and the fact that I'm now sitting here with unbrushed hair as usual, <laughs> <laughs> that um, I really don't, I don't, I have to watch my energy. I need to explain this because I don't want people to think, oh God, you can't even do a reading, right? This is a situation. I have to pace my energy um, to do various things as discussed on the radio and as on here. So I have to make sure that I keep my spoons. Now, there's an analogy, and I, I know that I've mentioned it before, about spoonies, um, which was something that came from the US, actually, on how to explain how we use and plan our energy. So we give ourselves, for instance, I give myself five spoons, and each spoon is an activity or something I need to do that I know will use my energy up. And one of those is even dealing with the emails that I've done this morning. I've been on it for three hours already, so I've mostly gone into two spoons now, and I still haven't got halfway through. So the thing is, is that, when you have a condition like this, you can't do normal things like everybody else can. You have to just have your spoons and then that's it. So as soon as I've used those up, I then basically am done. I can't do another thing. Otherwise, it will then create a problem for the following day and the following day. OK, so if I if I overuse my energy, my spoons, then I'll be useless for ages. So I have to be very, very diligent. I have to be very disciplined. Now, there's part of me because you've all asked for readings, there's part of me that wants to say, yes, I'll do them and start booking you in. I can't do that. I'm really, really sorry. This is why I feel the angel realms and the spirit world have changed my way of working. And that is these YouTube videos, um, the my books, my online courses, and... Um, that's just put me off now because bloody... Hang on a minute. Alexa! Cancel alarm. <laughs> Why is it every time I do a blinking video, there's always something that interrupts? It'll be the dogs next. I'm telling you, it'll be the dogs. They're just going to run and jump over it. So, um, yeah, part of me, um, and I had to go and walk on it yesterday on the beach and think it all through because part of me was thinking, you know, I need to do these and help people do these readings. The other part is, though, is that, as I've just said, um, you know, I need to, I need to watch my energy. Believe me, if I was if I had a normal healthy energy and you know had a normal healthy life, then I will be booking you all in now. And it most probably be up to the next six months by the amount of people that have asked for readings. However, I can't do that. Okay, and I just wanted to put this on the video so you so you can understand why I'm saying that I can't do these 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 readings. Me allocating an hour to one person, that is one spoon. And then I've only got four left. And that can include putting the washing load on, walking the dogs, answering emails, you know, and I'm done. And I can't do that to myself, I'm afraid. So um, I, I, I do do email readings now and then because um, the other problem is, sorry to sound like I'm whinging, but I really want to explain this because I don't need to think I'm fobbing you off, right? 
The other thing is as well, like I, I can do the odd email reading. The reason why I can do an email reading is because you send me your photograph, okay, and I do this angel card tarot reading for you, and I use psychometry and study your photograph, right? Now, what happens is, is that I can choose when to do that, so I can slot that into my spoonage. Does that make sense? So if I think, like now, I'm feeling great. I know I most people don't look it, but I've been doing loads of bloody um, emails, but... I can fit it in and think, actually, I can do that now. Whereas if I've got a time allocated, a date allocated where I have to talk to you, okay, and this has happened in the past, and I think, I can't do it, I haven't got the energy, my voice isn't working properly, I've got to postpone it. Then that then puts you somewhere where I've got to put you. And if I've already booked other people in, I've got to move them around. And it just stresses me out and I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it, it's too much. Um, so that's the reason why I can't do personal readings and a lot of time and a lot of space regularly because it's just it puts me under too much stress it also brings me back to a sense of oh I can't do what I used to do anymore and I really can't afford to do that that's an act of self-love I'm doing there okay and believe me in my old life before my accident as mentioned in me myself and I I would have people pleased and thought god you're not going to like me because I can't do your reading but I can't allow that to get into my energy and my psyche now the fact is is that I physically I'm not capable of doing a multiple amount of readings per day or per week okay this is why I'm writing this is why I'm doing YouTube videos because I can do them when I feel that I've got the energy to do them and you know equally I can bring out as much experience that I have got to share with you um and it's not it's not creating a problem with the spoonage <laughs> does that make sense so there's a couple of options i will be doing live um in the new year most probably because with the book launch and the interviews i've got at the moment it's too much so i will be doing live evenings where you join me on zoom and i give you messages because then it's an allocated time and it's done then and I can reach more people rather than an hour of just one person if that makes sense and I'll be doing those mostly with my brother Richard Allen now this is the other thing Richard is my brother and he works exactly the same as me he's on fire at the moment to be fair and he's at the stage at the moment where he adores doing readings for you okay he loves doing um, he does telephone readings zoom readings um, Skype readings, wherever you are in the world, okay? Richard Allen, A-L-A-N. Now, you can either go to his website, which is www.richardmorleypsychicmedium.co.uk. Excuse me, just burp in there. Um, or find him on Facebook, Richard, R-I-C-H-A-R-D-A-L-A-N. And he works the same as me, we're the same blood, we come from the same soul cluster, we come from the same generations of mediums, and he's excellent, it's also health intuitive. Um, <clears throat> so, if you want a reading, okay, then get hold of my brother. Um, because at the moment, you can tell my voice is getting weak again now, and this is because of the show I did yesterday. See, people don't understand that there are repercussions to us you know, expending our energy. You only know this if you've got chronic fatigue, um, fibromyalgia. Um, and so it, I, I, I did get upset about it yesterday because you have sent me such amazingly beautiful emails. Some of the things that you've endured, some of the things you need guidance and help with. My heart just wanted to leap out and help every single one of you, but I physically can't deal with hundreds of people um asking for readings and i'm so very sorry for that and I, I just wanted to share this to explain the reason why um because i don't want you to think that i've fobbed you off um for americans they don't think you'll know that you know i don't want you to think that i've just dismissed you and told you no um you know or, or let you down um because I, I believe me if i could do all these readings like i used to I used to do like five, six readings a day sometimes to help people, um, but I just can't do it. And I'm really sorry for that. Um, but I'm not sorry because, you know, my, my way of working has changed to my writing, to my YouTube videos, to my online learning courses. And I will be doing more of those. I think in essence, what I'm trying to say as well is that perhaps I've now changed. I know I have got spirit energy around me. Perhaps I've um, changed in that I'm trying to help you lead and attract a life that you don't need readings for all the time and I was thinking about this yesterday because I was walking along the beach 
looking out to the sea and it was it was dusk it was getting dark and um I, I i wanted to thank the angels for all of the opportunities and i and i also said can you please bless all these people that have contacted me because there's people in pain there's people that have lost really important people under really tragic circumstances you know and um, I said, please just send some, you know, strength and energy out to them. And then equally in my mind, I was thinking, well, that's where you come in. You're going to help them um, find strength and work with the angel realms and find their own way without having to keep going to psychics and mediums. Talking myself out of a job here. But what all I'm saying is, and then I thought, wow, actually... You know, I've, I haven't gone up to the spirit world and seen my mum, my dad, my nan, granddad and all my family for ages because I don't need to, because I, I'm, I feel whole. Everything in my life is abundant and fantastic. And if I do have a problem, then I hand it over to the angel realms. Um, and so that's what the kind of place I want to teach and help and nurture people to get to, that you don't feel so lost, that there are spiritual tools that you can gain. On the way hence why I do these videos hence why I do the prism living online course because you know sometimes we need to kind of try and um, get a basis for us to navigate life and then you know getting a reading is nice if we have it does that make sense rather than I really need this because I'm just so lost anyway um, I don't know what else to say really apart from please you know, I, I've seen this big spike of new subscribers and I'm sure it's all from um, Georgie's, he's such a star, isn't he? I was so honoured to be on that show, um, from Georgie's um, show yesterday. And, you know, most probably a lot of you are the people that want readings, but at the moment, I just haven't got the energy or the time to do it because literally the book launch and everything else, just taking all of my spoons up. So um, I hope that makes it more clearer. Please, 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 um, if you do really need to read in, I can understand a lot of you do. Believe me, I did a couple of years ago. Um, <laughs> I need to bloody read in every bleeding day. Um, but I, you know, get hold of my brother. And if you, you know, you can get his details down, just comment below and I can um, supply a link for you there. Um, and he'll be able to help you. He's an exceptionally good medium. He really is. And he gives it every single bit of effort he possibly can. Um, and it's really nice to know that I know that I'm safe in saying, go go with my brother Richard. Um, and who knows, you know, I, the energy could improve and things could quieten down. And I could end up doing the odd readings for you next year. But at the moment, it's just not doable um, with everything going on. Plus, we've got the holidays coming up. Um, you know, so a lot of you... I'll be busy with family festivities and so will I. So um, let's just see what the new year brings, guys. But I just want to say thank you for your support. And, and please don't be disheartened that I can't offer you a reading because I've got so much else to offer you that can help you navigate life and navigate your grief, navigate, um, you know, the, your circumstances. So hang on in there and hopefully I can give you as much support as I can via these videos. And um, the readings will just have to come later. You don't have to go and see me, bro because he's brilliant so I'm going to get back to my emails I just felt that I needed to say this to just clear my energy off because it was really bugging me that I felt I needed to help you and I needed to serve you if you like and it's like no Nikki you need to explain why and and make your peace and this is like an act of self-love that I need to say no I can't commit to this at the moment does that make sense um and weirdly enough, you know, just after I did the George Norrie show yesterday, Life is a Roller Coaster came on. And um, I'm going to share an analogy that I kind of feel was inspired from the angel realms about that on my next video. So look out for that because it is a good analogy. A um, bit of spiritual philosophy for you. But I haven't got time to do it now because I've got to get back to my emails, man. Then I've got to do a load. Thank you again for um, buying a signed personalised message copy of my book. I've got a whole load to sign now, which is one of my dreams I used to picture years ago of me signing books to people. Um, and if there's anybody here that's living in the Bay in Devon who's going to the Living Mead on Friday, I really look forward to seeing you there, my darlings, where again I'll have my book to sign for you. Um, so I'll love you and leave you for the time being because I've got to shoot back to um, doing my admin. Um, and God bless you for following me, all you new subscribers as well. And I just want to create the most loving, safe, spiritual community on this 
channel where you can feel free to ask me anything and I'll do everything in my power um, to answer it for you. All right, my lovelies. So I'm going to leave you now and um, I'll speak to you very soon. Love you all and God bless you for your support, um, both in the book and by subscribing to this channel. So speak to you very soon. Mwah, love you.